Hello, it's Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions with another bonus tip on how to do a custom 3D molding polyline. Well, let's just do a molding polyline with this one. All right, let's get into it. Uh, I took this question off of Facebook over the last day or so, and I've copied the user's uh, profile, sort of. Sort of. I, it's not 100%, but... Um, I'm looking at it, and when I started off with a, with one grid equals a quarter of an inch, that didn't seem to quite align with the um, elevation for a five foot six rough opening. That that molding looks quite a bit larger than than five inches wide. So I'm going to delete the picture here, and I'm going to take this molding, and I'm going to just resize that molding. Um, Let's say, let's say, uh, let's say two times uh, for this case. It doesn't really matter. Um, you get the picture. So I'm going to select the molding and click the transform replicate object down here. Resize 2x and click OK. Then I'm going to add that to the library. Um, this is a complete molding. And where is my add to library tool let's rotate it so i'm going to i'm going to select this profile and add it to my library using this right here uh, this child tool add to library and this is called a molding and i'm going to give it a name by clicking once uh, you can also hit the i believe the f2 function key on your keyboard if your keyboard is using the F keys, not the uh, custom key. So let's just give this a uh, custom molding profile, however you'd like to call that, and then quickly draw a arched door. Let's zoom out. I'm going to draw a basic room with an exterior door and for for uh, sake of this I'm going to make this an interior room and we're going to make this a doorway instead of a door and so doorway, and I'm going to give it, uh, it says 66 wide, and so we need plus 33 tall, and I'm going to do the arch as a round top arch. Now if you want to add the casing here, like this, uh, let's go 10 inches wide. Uh, and we'll do 10 inches on that one as well. If you added this custom molding profile like that, let's spin this around. Let's see what it would do. This room taller ceiling, and I want to do a wall elevation. So you might kind of get it like that with your profile. Um, if I go to plan view, you can see it's a pretty wide. Um, belly on that. It is difficult to see. Let's try a darker color maybe. If I take a section, here we go. That's what I'll do. I'm going to take a section of this. Uh, 
Oh, uh, yes. I need to adjust the uh, depth of it. That depth is four inches. That's what I need to do. My casing. So it put the, the, um, because of the way it's rotated, it put this belly that curved on the interior here. So let's select this and let's go to casing. And notice I cannot rotate this from this, uh, I mean X13, I can't rotate it from this uh, piece, this uh, um, dialog box. So I might actually be better off, what I was proposing earlier was to do a, let's do casing and do no interior casing or exterior casing. Let's make this also at 144. I'm going to draw my elevation. So I'm, it's going to, that, that uh, casing is going to wrap inside the elevation. I'm going to draw it, let's say, 64, 80 inch tall. And I'm going to make this arched here. I'm going to draw my polyline. I'm going to delete this bottom edge by selecting that with the red square. I know that's selected, so I'm going to use this Disconnect Selected Edge tool and delete that. So now I just have a three-piece polyline. So I've got my two straight legs and the arch. Let's center this up just a smidge better. And I'm going to pull this down. There we go. And I'm going to select this and convert that into a polyline, a 3D molding polyline. In this case, I can't do a molding polyline because I'm in elevation. So let's, uh, molding layer is fine. Let's select that molding and replace this with the custom molding profile that I created there. Now, I can never remember all the flips and flops of it. So let's uh, undo that. That actually, I think, works. Let's reflect horizontal, vertical. What this, what these buttons are doing. I thought it changed this, but it doesn't. Okay. So let's let's try this. And it seems like maybe that was that worked. No, that doesn't work. Molding, let's reflect this way. Nope. I can also select it here in the elevation. Nope, that's not the way. Not quite there. Let's look at some of the other moldings orientation. Let's say casings. Okay, so I want it more like in this orientation. What I may have to change that. Let's 
Let's do this. I'm going to flip it here and rotate like that. Add that to my library. Custom Molding 2. Let's change this molding profile to Custom Molding 2. There we go. And there's your molding profile. So you want it rotated up in this direction. And you've got that. Now to place this, I need to be, uh, I need to select it. And I can't, I can't just click on it and move it. Because that will, because it's a 3D molding polyline, I'll show you what it does here. Let's turn these off and split screen. If I were to click once and select this and move that, it's going to go crazy. So I'm going to undo this. Now I'm going to select and drag this so it's a object so to speak we're selecting the whole object because what I was doing earlier was just selecting this element of it right here this top curved element and you can move just one element at a time like that so I'm going to move this now into place with as the whole element keep moving it until it's now I may need to adjust the, um, yeah, so it put it inside this element. Let's double click this and extrude inside. What does that do for us? That is not quite the right, we're getting there. There we go. Let's take a section through here. So I need to move it out about one inch. To do this now, I'm if I were to drag and select through here, I'd be selecting the molding, the wall, and the door. So I'm going to click on my Select Contained Objects and go through half of the wall. And then I'm going to move this up tab one inch. There I'm correct. There's my 3D molding polyline. I wonder if we were to do this uh, on the other side. Now that I've got that oriented correctly, if I can do my casing properly with this uh, custom molding 2. Give it a 4. And let's do a reveal. It's always going, it's Casing is always going to go on the outside of the wall. So I've got this one inch gap right here. Um, I don't think I can adjust that. Casing with automatic casing with that door is always going to go to that closest edge on the left of the profile. So there's no way to offset that into the wall. So you might have to go with the 3D molding polyline. So if you're able to make that profile take off this little bit of the profile right here uh, and just snug this edge up against the wall and leave the, leave the uh, frame, that would be one way to do this uh, profile. So let's open up my library. Come on, library.
custom molding to turned it into, instead of arcs and such, it's turned it into actual little line segments. If you can make that your profile, uh, and let the, let the frame of the door do it, do its work for that little uh, piece of it, that might work for you. Hope that's helpful. Take care.